Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to the search for the weekend. Today I wanted to share with you this strawberry cookies. Now, I made this ones a couple of years ago. They were probably the first one that I made ever. And I just wanted to make a refreshment out of them. And then I saw this apron that my sister made and that inspired me a lot to create this one. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my sugar cookie dough. I do have it. The recipe is going to be down below. And I'm going to be using my, my rolling pin. Now I'm going to be taking my cookie cutter. This was over Originally, I think for leaves, I'm just going to take my spatula and just take them out. I'm going to go with my pink and first make the outline fill that in. Then I'm going to take my scribe tool and I do have a tutorial on this scribe tool. It's homemade. I'm going to put a link below. Smooth everything out and then just to help the icing smooth. If you have something that should be there, remove it before your icing dries. I'm gonna let this dry. And for this one, which I did practically the same, I'm going to be putting some white dots, simulating, you know, the seeds. This is wet and wet technique, because you're putting white icing on top of what I see. So just going to do this. Do the shaky, shaky thing, because as you can see, those dots lay down flat. If I don't do this, this happens. I'm going to go with this red that has a bit of brown on it and I'm using 15 to 20 consistency icing smooth everything okay and then before it dries I'm going to go and add a couple of lines with a lighter red going from one side to the other and I'm just going to try to blend those lines do you have to work somewhat fast and you have to make your icing in a flowy consistency because if it's a stiff consistency it's going to dry like immediately and you're not going to be able to make those lines blend so for this i'm going to just start putting some dots yellow dots of real icing and i'm working over a piece of wax paper and then i'm going to go with my stripe tool and just kind of remove that on the end, make more than what you actually think you need in case you just need backups. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are doing this tutorials. I have nail stuff, DIYs. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, now Facebook, so you don't miss a thing. And don't forget to check out my blog. You can subscribe and follow me there as well. And then and these things are dry, my kind of sprinkles. So I'm just going to go with my tweezers that I only use for baking. And I'm going to just place them first, just on the top. And then I'm going to kind of push the whole thing. Push when you feel like the, the cookie itself in the back. And then I'm going to just let it dry. Okay, what happens when you just don't like the leaves though? I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my scribe tool. I'm, I waited for my, for my icing to dry a bit. And I'm just going to pull them away from the cookie. I think it's important to mention this because sometimes we just have an amazing cookie and it turns out at the end that there is something we don't like and we start all over again. So this is just a tip and the stains that those ones left are going to be covered. Then I'm going to be taking my piping tip number 352, which is the lip one, and then I'm going in, putting the tip like this, push a lot and then pull going on the other side again and if you feel like it's like getting lost in there you can always use your scribe tool to just arrange the shape I'm just going to add a third one and then I'm going with my gold dust kind of doing the same thing that I did in my previous video and then adding my almond extract and then in some of them I'm just going to have that kind of line giving the illusion that is light if you have a big, uh, smaller brush, that is gonna work better, I think. Just want to share this one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Subscribe for more stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Beautylish. I don't really know where else I am. Flickr, I think. So thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.